pass the milk, please? Please pass the milk, please. Please pass the milk, please. Here we are. We've got our three animations. We've got Ron Have's kick, walk, uh, walking, and running. And you see all three of these animations are separate, and that will come in handy in a minute. I've also gone ahead and grabbed a picture of a cloudy sky. And I found another cool site, videogamesprites.net, where I was able to find the hills from the Super Mario Brothers game. And I'm going to use those too. So let's move over here to uh, After Effects. And you'll see here I've already imported the sky, the two hills, and the three Ron Paul animations. Now here is a bit of advice. When you get into this for real, you're going to see you have you know hundreds, if not a thousand different files all over the place and comps, and it gets really messy and you'll get lost in your own file. So use the built-in features to, to keep organized. For example, I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it Ron Paul. And I'm going to put all the Ron Paul stuff into that folder. And then I'll do one called Backgrounds. And I'm going to put all the background stuff into that. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to create a composition, call it Ron Paul, make it 600 by 600 and 15 seconds long. And there we go. I'm going to drop this right here into the Ron Paul folder, keep organized. Now, I'm going to take the walking animation and drop it right here in the middle. You see it's beautiful, it's already cut out, so we don't have to do any extra work. What I am going to do is make a solid layer, layer, new, solid, and just pick a real bright color like green. And I'm going to just drop this under walking, just so I can kind of see what's going on without that black background. Uh, I'll cut that out in a minute, I just figure it's, it's handy for now. And take a look at this here, you'll see our animation ends after a couple of frames, because the walking animation is only about 10 frames long. So what I'm going to do is select walking over here, and then, whoops, I'm going to go to File, Interpret Footage, Main. I'm going to leave the frame rate at 10 frames per second, and I'm going to down here say loop it 99 times. Okay. Now as a result, I can extend it on the timeline as long as I want, and now he'll just keep walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. I'm going to do the same thing with running. I am going to interpret the footage, main, loop it 99 times, keep it at 10 frames per second. And now I can drop running right under walking, and then just take a moment here and just kind of line them up. As you can see, I didn't do the greatest job. The heads are not the same size, so this isn't going to look great. But let's scale it down a little bit, make it close to the same size as we can get it. Nah, it's not quite right. Let's see. How about there? It's good. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is just line these up like so. Let me zoom in on my timeline so I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to make it so that on one frame, the first animation ends and the second one begins. Just like so. Let me just make sure I line that up perfect. Because if you don't get this just perfect, you'll have a spot where, for example, if we're off by one frame, there'll be one frame where you see both of them. Or, if you go wrong the other way, there'll be one spot where there's nothing there. So you want it exactly on the money with this. So let's zoom out. Now what we've got is he'll walk for a little bit, and then he will run for a little bit, and then let's have him stop here, and then jump into a roundhouse kick, let's say. Now the roundhouse kick, I am not going to loop. It's only going to go once, and then we'll be over with, and then we'll go right back in another animation. And this is why I always suggest keeping all your different animations as unique files, because this way you can just cut back and forth as you need. You can have walk and then run and punch and kick and jump, you know, whatever the case is, whatever your scene is. Uh, and this way you can kind of have some wiggle room once you're back here in After Effects. I'm just going to line this up. Let's see. Yeah. 
close enough for what we need now. Now obviously the problem is we have too much running. It goes off to the timeline. So let's just real quick make it it's because it loops 99 times, it goes all the way to almost two minutes. So we don't need that much. We'll cut it back. And I will change my comp time back to 15 seconds. Zoom in. End it right on the money again. Zoom in, make sure I got that right. I did. And now we'll say, boom, he will run over and kick. And then let's have him after he kicks run again. So I'll just control D, duplicate the running file, drop it down here, put it right to there, and then he'll just run as far as it wants. There we go. Hey, I'm being lucky today. I got that run on the money too. Cool. Okay. Now that we've lined everything up properly, I don't need the green. I'm going to get rid of it. And we can see here is our full Ron Paul animation. He walks, and then he's going to run. And he runs over, and he kicks, and then he keeps on running. And now we're going to need some place for him to actually run. So what I'm going to do in backgrounds is create a new composition. I'm going to call it ground. I'm going to make it, let's see, 400 high, let's say 800 width. I'm going to keep it 15 seconds because my animation is only 15 seconds long. And we'll just go with that. I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole thing. And what I'm going to do here is create a uh, landscape so he can go ahead and have something to run on. What I'll do, I'm going to take this hill from Mario Brothers. I'm going to drop it right there. And you see we have a problem. It's got that white background. Here's an easy trick to get rid of that. Highlight the layer. Go to Effect. Go to Keying. And then Color Key. Use the eyedropper just to select the white. Click. And it wipes it right out. This feature is actually for blue screening and green screening, like when you're filming footage in front of a green screen. But it works just as well here. And it's handy when you have a solid color you got to get rid of. Uh, if you haven't done it in Photoshop already for whatever reason. Now that I've got this hill here, I'm going to create a new shape layer. I'm going to select my fill color, use the dropper, and get that exact same green that the hill is. OK. I'm going to create a square. I'm just going to draw a square right here across the bottom. And there we are. Now, I'm going to duplicate that hill. Duplicate it again. We also have that smaller hill. Let me throw that in there too. And then the same problem as before. We'll just select the small hill, effect, color key, dropper, white, and there we go. So now we've got our, our hill. Let's make another one over here. Okay. Now we've got some ground. The problem, of course, is we don't have a sky. So let's go and make a sky. 